So it wasn't the fact that God couldn't bless it and do everything that I wanted him to do. God just showed me after a month and a half, because remember I kept praying and asking God for wisdom. And, and, and we were just not in a good space because I was choosing not to listen to what he thought was best. And so God showed me that and God was like, of course, I can do all these things. He said, but I don't operate unless, it, he said, I don't operate in chaos. God operates, he showed me that he operates in structure and in order. And if my husband-to-be feels like this is best right now, as a soon-to-be wife, God was like, you ought to listen to that. You ought to be obedient to that. You ought to submit to what you what what he think is best because god said i sent him he's only here because i sent him to you and and god just dealt with me y'all deal with me and all of a sudden it was like a relief i was able to breathe after a month and a half of not being able to breathe and trying to figure out this trying to figure out that and God finally gave me the wisdom that I was praying for. And after that, it just felt right. I said, I don't want to marry this man. I don't care if I marry this man in a shack. I don't care if it's in a, a, a $100,000 palace. I don't care wherever it is. This is who God has for me. And I'm not about to miss out on that because of what I think that I deserve. When God has exceeded my expectations already and is doing such a new, amazing thing in our lives. And so God just dealt with me. And so long story short, y'all, we just was like, look, we ready to do this. We we kind of we threw that um, big lavish wedding out the window. We we decided we was gonna do that later, but we were ready to get married. And guess what, y'all? We got married. We got married. We got married. Ah! It all worked out. Um, yeah. Near the beginning of like April, we kind of started, you know, to say, okay, we gotta do what we gotta do to be with each other, yeah. you know. And we just started. Not even we started the plan. But I mean, it wasn't, you know, it, it's like once we left it to God, he worked it out. He worked From it out. every Jesus single thing. Like Lord. we literally, I think the only thing we really had to pay for besides like the clothes we had to wear was a marriage license. That's it. So. And y'all, God just blew my mind. Now, I'm not trying to get emotional or, or nothing, but he is such a strategic, amazing God. And the minute... The minute you or me as a human being just learn to trust him and learn to give it all to him is when God just showed me, he said, once you do this, Amy, you, you will leave room for me to manifest the miracle. And so it just got to the point where I was like, I trust you, Lord. You have not brought me this far to leave me. And um, we got married, and God is a God of detail. Never think that your prayer is too small or too big because God is a God of everything. And so everything that I prayed for, he literally went above and beyond that. And from things from the little details to the big details, God blessed us with it. And we just were so blown away by his love by his kindness by his mercy like we were just blown away and we end up getting married april 29th the day after his birthday at our church and everything i prayed and asked god for he he gave it to us and and just kept going it just kept going and remember god told me he said study this scripture ephesians 3 20 and the holy spirit said and watch it manifest yep. and that's exactly we are living testimonies that God will go above and beyond everything that you have asked him for because of his love. All he needs from you is to just give it to him. Just give it, to give, him. Give it totally to him. Just surrender to God. And it's like, you know, when the wedding came, it was like such a perfect weekend because I had mm -hmm. training uh, with my job. I had to go to Jackson, Mississippi. So I don't know if you all know, but like Jackson, Mississippi is like halfway between New Orleans and Memphis. So after the training ended, I was able to go to Memphis, um, got to see, it was a jam-packed weekend. Got to see my sister off the prom on mm. that Friday. 
my birthday was Saturday and I had an amazing birthday because of her. And I thank her. I got literally every gift that I want out of you too. I got every gift that I wanted. You know, I didn't want I don't want much, you know, you can just give me some money, but you know, I got everything that I could have wanted and I had her, you know. So and that's all to I To top it all off, we got married. Yeah. The we, next day after my birthday, we and the, the day was so full and jam-packed because yeah. we Literally and went to church. Was last minute, we went to church everything. nine that morning. Didn't get out of church till like one one thirty. Yeah. She went and got her nails done. And, uh, I went to pick up her veil. Mm -hmm. uh, she had to get her makeup done. I, and this I didn't even have a vehicle because at my job let me rent a car. You know, and I had to return it once I got to Memphis. But you know, I, we were sharing her vehicle, but. Nonetheless, it all got done, yeah. and the wedding was perfect. Yeah. It was, you know, it was small, it was intimate. It was basically my um, immediate family, her immediate family, yeah. and uh, some of the clergy of the church, the pastors, the older saints. It was beautiful, y'all. It, it all worked out. It, it all worked out worked for out. the glory of yeah. God, and we are here to say that none of this would not have been possible without our Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's why we're going to always give it to him because he goes above and beyond everything because of the love that he has for us. And this that's what captured me and captured him in the midst of all of this. And I want to just end on this note that you're going to suffer sometimes. You're going to go through trials and tribulations yeah. sometimes, but it is all for a greater glory really to come. Is. And it's a scripture that God was dealing with me in it and just was showing me that, yeah, you're going to go through some stuff, but it's only for a short period of time. And it, even if it's for a long period of time, it doesn't matter because it's for a greater glory to come. And it says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. I like this scripture. Yes, and so God was just saying like, hey, you gonna go through some stuff for this, this time, yeah. but you keep your faith in me. You never lose sight yeah. of me and watch what I will do. This is for a greater glory that is in heaven. This is for, like you are through, you going through this and enduring and trusting in God, whatever it is, you are doing nothing but increasing your faith, increasing your long suffering, increasing your love, that you give room for God to manifest those things in your life. So no matter what it is, what you're going through, it is always for a greater glory to come in God. And so, we are so happy. We are married, y'all. And it is only through Jesus Christ. And um, I just want to say this too. Like, I'm 27 years old. Nobody ever seen my life being what it is ever but God. Okay, so. And me, I saw it. And him. I saw the future. But the plans that God has for you is bigger and greater than, than what you can ever know. So every time that you give it to God, every time that you say, you know what, I'm gonna faith this thing out. I'm gonna trust your word. I'm gonna declare your word over my life and I'm gonna watch it come to pass. And you just wait and see what God is going to do in your life. Just give it to God. Give it to God. And I mean, look at us and not to mention, in the midst of all of that, of me wondering when he was going to marry me and blah, 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 God was setting us up for a house. We are in our first house, like, right off the bat. So God was like, I am exceeding your expectations, my daughter, my son. Trust me in this season and watch what I will do. And look at this. Every time I gave it to God, he replaced it with something that was bigger and greater and so much better. So much better, so much better because his wisdom is not our wisdom. The, what God thinks of us is all of, of, of things that are high and above and, and in the heavens. So every time we give it to God, he will bless us yes. mightily, amazingly. Yeah. And yeah. so... Mm, that's, that's our testimony yeah. for how we got to this point. We're married. We're in our first official home together. Through the grace of God. We're in New Orleans. We're in New Orleans, y'all. Hopefully we don't 
gained too much weight. No. I've gained a little weight since I've been here, but I've been getting back in the gym. Yeah, right. I'm going to get it right. But we are officially New Orleans and New Orleanians. New Orleanians. Did I question God? Yes. But I realized and I, I anchored myself in the Lord and I was like, Lord, whatever you got planned, I trust you. He blessed and he blessed it. And this is only the beginning. This is our next chapter in God. This is our next chapter in ministry. This is our next chapter in what he has for us. The people he needs us to serve. The, the doors that he's getting ready to open. And so when you give it to God, just understand that it's going so much further than what your mind can comprehend yeah. and so i was scared about coming to new orleans but yet here i am because this is what god has for us, for us. and not so just me you know, not just her but for us. us because we are one now we are one <laughs> through the name of jesus yes and so thank you so much you guys for tuning in and thank we love y'all i love y'all y'all are my beautiful subscribers i truly from the bottom of my heart thank y'all for y'all support and i have so many more videos and testimonies on the way um and no matter what you just keep striving for christ you just keep striving for god's love and just watch his beautiful blessings unfold in your life and that is it and we love y'all. Peace out. Continue to pray. His real. Her protector. Hey. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. I love you. I love you. We married y'all. I's married now. We I's married. We's married now. We's married. Uh, uh, uh. He liked it so he put a ring on it. <laughs> but thank you so much you guys. And we will see y'all later. Mm. Bye, y'all. <laughs> hey, you guys. Yeah, come on. Give me care of you. Give me care of you. Hey. Okay. Uh, the ultimate side side. No. Theo, my boy. No. Okay.